Hey guys, it's Drea. Today I have a really exciting video for you. This is a tag video. I haven't done a tag in a really long time. This is a tag created by Nicole Renee Cutler. I am subscribed to her here on YouTube. She's a really, really fun channel with lots of really fun ideas. You know, it's all centered around makeup and beauty. And she's such a cool, cute, really well-spoken girl. I really love following her. So go check her out. I will link her below, but she actually created this tag. It's not the kind of tag that has a lot of questions to it. Um, basically, here's the concept. It's called the used and abused tag. So basically, go through your collection, find all the stuff that you use all the time. It looks wrecked, it looks all janky, and it looks like you use it. Um, you know, often, the reason I think I was really attracted to this tag is because I have such a big collection, and often it looks like I never use the things I love, even though I love them. It's really hard to tell that I use them because I have so much stuff and I rotate it a lot, right? So there's certain stuff in your collection when it looks wrecked, you could tell it's being used. You can tell the person really likes it. So that's why I was so drawn to this tag and I wanted to like get on it and just, like I watched this yesterday. Today I'm recording it. I'm like ready to go, ready to show you guys what is used and abused in my collection. Foundation is a category, again, I have so much in it. I love testing foundations, so I'm always buying them. And I very rarely use them up. It's really hard to tell that I use foundations. But this one came to me last year. I purchased this last year and I'm halfway through it already. So you can see it has like really been used and loved. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. Mine is in the shade 1.2. I have super, super, super very oily skin. And even though this says hydrating on it, it's really great for oily skin. It lasts all day. I wouldn't say this is a full coverage. This is more like a medium coverage. I'm wearing this today. I tried to wear a lot of this stuff today just so you guys could see it in action. But this is the foundation I'm wearing today. I love the finish it gives it's a really nice natural finish but yeah on my oily skin I still have to blot it, but it still lasts through the oil and it lasts all day long and I really love this like you can tell it is being used up um, something that I use all the time and I've repurchased many times is Mac fix plus so this is just a regular bottle here I'm halfway through this is you know how many of these have I purchased over the years? And then this is a little mini bottle of the coconut scent that they came out with recently. And this is halfway gone as well. I've been loving this coconut scent. I think they might've re-released it again. I don't know. I hope that they keep re-releasing these scented ones though, because I love the coconut scent. It's so nice. But Fix Plus is so good as a setting spray. Even if you have oily skin, it is kind of like a hydrating thing, but the reason I like it is because especially if you have oily skin, you know, we like to use a lot of powders and things to keep us matte. And um, by the end of adding so many powders, a lot of the time it looks like really heavy makeup on your face. And when you spray with MAC Fix Plus, it just kind of melds everything together, gets rid of that powdery look, and it makes everything look so much more blended and beautiful and natural on your skin. So I just hit pan on this the other day. I wasn't even expecting to hit pan. I didn't even realize I use this as much as I do, but this is the Anastasia Dip Brow. Mine is in the shade Ash Brown. Again, what I'm wearing today on my eyebrows. I love Dip Brow. It's just, it's so easy to use. You know, I like a pencil. Pencils are, they're easy to use too, but I just find it takes a lot longer to kind of create the brush strokes and all that. And Dip Brow is so easy and it lasts all day. Again, like a lot of the time I'll find trouble with my um, tail, especially like with the Brow Wiz even. My tail will be gone halfway throughout the day just because of my oily skin, but Dip Brow always stays in place. And then I always use the Anastasia number seven brush with this and you guys this thing is like wrecked i don't you know the actual brush has been holding up pretty good but you can tell like the plastic covering looks disgusting all the writing has been worn off of it um it's still going strong though and i've had this for a long time but you could tell i use this all the time i don't really have one of these to show you that's really used up but this is um, a recent repurchase because I use this all the time and I go through these. This is the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder, so you can tell this is, an, is new, but yeah, my last one was all broken and just like by the end of it, it was time to get a new one because it looked really wrecked, but I repurchased this one all the time. Another thing like that is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. 
in Trooper. This is the black um, brush tip liner from her. I always like to get, actually this one is getting to the end of its life. I think it's not as black as it normally is. Okay, time to buy yet another one of these. Um, but the smaller ones, if you can get your hands on the actual mini size, I find they actually last longer than the full size ones that you purchase for, I don't know, what is it, like 20 or 25 bucks. The little ones, if you can get them as like a 100 point perk or even in like mini gift sets and stuff, I actually like them better than the full size, but I can't tell you how many of these I've gone through. But here's a fun one. The Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. You guys, this is broken. It's looking a mess. You can see all the pan in it. So this is in the shade Dolce de Leche. Um, I don't really use the contour side, although I have, and it is actually a nice contour powder. Here, I can swatch it for you. That's what the actual contour powder looks like right there. But this, I think this is my second one of these. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is really great for setting your under eye. It brightens it, but it's also just really good as a setting powder under your eye. And I also use this to set my eyeshadow primer as well before I put on eyeshadow. This is something fun I wanted to show you guys because this is very used and abused even though it's a tool and not an actual like piece of makeup. This is a color switch. Now there's a brand called, I think it's Vero Moda. I will link all these products below, so anything I talk about, but the actual brand that makes this, I think it's called Vero Moda. Um, this one I bought off eBay for way cheaper. It was maybe like five bucks or something. So it's a little metal pan and inside you got this little black thing. I don't even know what this is made of, but you can see how like dirty and gross this is. This is for taking your dirty eyeshadow brush and you just run it around here and it takes off all the eyeshadow and you can go in with another color afterwards and use it up. Like, can you see how dirty this is? I don't even know if I can, if this can be washed. I flipped it over a few times, but yeah, it's looking pretty messed up. I either need to buy a new one of these or figure out how to wash this. These eyelashes I keep reusing, reusing, reusing. And this is actually the second pair of these that I bought. This is the Sephora House of Lashes collaboration in the style Everlasting. These are super, super, super wispy. I know they look gross in there, you guys, but I guess that's the point of this tag, to show you how gross stuff looks um, or how used and messed up it looks. But I think you can kind of see the style of them in there. They're just so wispy kind of like really natural looking for a fake eyelash and like the glue still on it. I always leave the glue on my eyelashes till the next time I wear them and then I pull it off. That's why they're looking like that. Um, also, Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid from Urban Decay. This is what I use to color correct my dark circles every single time I wear makeup. It's just like a peachy shade. You can see there, you put that on your dark circles underneath your concealer just to cancel out the darkness. I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of hard to tell in the bottle, but it's down to about there, I would say. And it's only because I need like the smallest amount of this for it to work, that it's lasted me so long, but I really need to buy another one of these soon. Um, eyeshadow primer. This is my MAC Painterly. There you go. <laughs> and I will definitely just continue to repurchase this every time I need an eyeshadow primer because this is really the one that just works perfectly for me. I love it. I know it's always gonna be there for me. My eyeshadow lasts all day long. But a drugstore option that I use, like usually in tutorials, but I do use this sometimes too, is the Essence Eye Lip Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. I've talked about this a few times. I think you can see just how kind of messed up the bottle is here because I use it a ton. So this is just kind of like a doe foot applicator. Um, it's kind of like a peachy, very light shade and it's very wet. So the only thing with this is that you have to kind of blend it into your um, eyelid and let it dry before you can actually put eyeshadow on top of it. But it's so good. And this is like $4 or something. Um, your eyeshadow lasts all day, it doesn't crease, and it does kind of intensify the color a little bit. I wouldn't say it's like amazing, but it is a lighter base, that's why it does that. But that one is so good, I use it all the time. Another concealer, the Lancome. This is all rubbed off, like there used to be writing here. I don't even remember what it said, but I do know this is the Lancome of Fasterness Long Lasting Concealer. This one is a squeezy tube. 
There it is right there. Mine is in the shade 220 Claire 11. This actually is not a brightening concealer on me. This is my actual skin tone. And so when I use this, I don't usually use it in my full face routine. I use this on my no makeup makeup days. And I actually did a whole video about that. And I'll link that if you're interested, where it's like my five minute makeup. That's when I use this. And that is actually something that occurs quite often because I have a lot of days where I'm just too lazy to do a full face and I just want to cover up like my dark circles and cover up some redness and so that's why I use this and this is I swear, it's hard to tell but it's it's pretty hollow like if I actually squeeze this I don't know where it would be down to but um it's almost gone Highlighters are really tough. I actually am working on trying to hit pan on champagne pop in my project pan that I have going on. So I don't want to show you guys that because there will be an update for that um, at some point. But this one, this is the Laura Mercier Highlight 01, the one that's called the Matte Radiance. This is actually a sample size that came in like a Sephora um, gift set two Christmases ago. And I want to completely use this up. I use this every time I do my makeup. The way I use this is I always put this on as my base highlighter. So I always wear two highlighters. I always wear this one and then I'll put another one on top because I just love being extra like that. I love having tons of highlight on my cheek. And this is like completely flat. Like there's none poking over and it was that kind of baked rounded product so I want to eventually use this entire thing up I don't know how long it will take me but it's completely flat now and that is saying something for a baked highlighter and then this highlight is complete you can't even see the words it's completely rubbed off um, again haven't hit pan because it's just way too hard to hit pan on a highlighter but I think you can see it's pretty worn away in the middle there this is the um, makeup revolution vivid baked highlight in radiant lights this is what I'm wearing today the combination of both of these highlights is what I'm wearing today that's what it looks like the swatch it never swatches as nice as it looks on the cheeks I think you could tell like on the cheeks it's pretty darn beaming but I don't know swatch isn't quite as good as I said in the beginning I have such a big collection that is really hard for me to show you progress or like that I'm using things um, especially like eyeshadow palettes because I have a ton of eyeshadow palettes but these two when I was going through my collection well first of all I grab this one immediately because this one I take anytime I travel but this one I was like yeah I use that quite a bit and then I opened it up and I was like oh yes yeah I do use that one quite a bit so this is the Ciate um, Chloe Morello collaboration. It's called the Pretty Fun Fearless palette. I did a whole video actually reviewing this when it first came out. I think they're bringing this back. I heard that. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's an awesome palette and Ciate eyeshadows are never talked about. This is the only time I've ever tried them. All the mattes in here are so good. Like they're pigmented. They blend so nicely. I really love the mattes from Ciate. There's an example of some of the mattes in there. Now, the only thing with this palette though is these shimmery shades, they're actually a little tough to work with. They absolutely need to be wet for them to show up properly and they're very chunky. So that's the only thing downside to this palette, but it's a really beautiful palette. And then as I said, this one, this was a limited edition palette. You can't get it anymore, but I believe pretty much everything i haven't looked into it but i'm pretty sure all the shadows in here can be purchased as singles so this is the anastasia shadow couture world traveler palette this came out about two years ago so this is like completely broken apart because i i just use this a ton um it's gonna be hard to tell but there are significant dips and for me to get a dip in an eyeshadow is saying something like i actually have to work at it um because i use different stuff all the time but this intense gaze here this shadow is my favorite shadow in here and it's such a beautiful color from anastasia that i would suggest getting this one in a single it's this gorgeous warm shimmery pink it's like this rosy deep pink this actually this palette is what i'm wearing on my eyes today so i have quite a few of the mattes in the crease i also usually put this in the crease too even though it's shimmery just to warm it up a bit and then i have this shadow here called metallic which is the gold which also has a big dip in it all over my lid 
So there's metallic and there's intense gaze. I love wearing those together. This has just seen a lot of love for me. As you can tell, I should probably bust out the glue gun and fix it, but I take this with me. This is the only palette I travel with only because it's so easy to create many looks with this, but also the brush in here is so good that it just, it cuts down on the amount of brushes I have to bring along when I'm traveling. So it has a really good blender on that side and has a really good smudger, but it, this can also be used to actually lay down shadow on the lid. So I just find this so versatile and wonderful. So there you go, you guys. That is all my most used and abused products. Thank you so much to Nicole for creating this tag. I think it's so much fun. If any of you have channels or even on Instagram and you want to participate, definitely do that and tag her and tag me, letting us know that you participated. I'd love to see your stuff that you use to the point where it is like noticeably wrecked. How many times did I say wrecked in this video? If you're new here, hello, definitely subscribe. I'd love to have you around in my future videos. I do a lot of fun stuff here on my channel and I post videos three times a week. So just hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified of any of my video uploads. And let me know in the comments what stuff you use and have used to the point where you've had to repurchase it over and over, that it's breaking apart on you and you just don't want to throw it away because you still love it. I need to know. I'm nosy about that, especially when it comes to makeup. So leave that comment. And that's it for today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.